In this video, I want to show you a basic but essential tool in Silhouette Studio. This is about grouping and ungrouping. As you work with designs in Silhouette Studio, you may notice that some designs have a lot of pieces that separate immediately when you open them, or the pieces all move together as one. When you have a set of pieces that move together as one, they could be grouped or they could be a compound path. I'm going to focus on grouped objects in this video. To learn more about compound paths, watch our video on the Modify panel. To see if you can ungroup a set of shapes, the easiest thing to do is to look at the Quick Access Toolbar while the set is selected and see if Ungroup is an option. It will be grayed out if the objects are not grouped. When I click Ungroup with this car set, I immediately get a lot of selection boxes one for each individual shape in this set. That's great because now I can recolor, move, or even delete individual pieces. I can select several pieces at a time by dragging a selection box around them, or I can hold my shift key while individually clicking shapes to select multiple pieces at the same time. If I select too many, I can hold shift while clicking on a piece I want to deselect. I'll add fill colors to these windows and to the vehicles. If I want to move the cars though, there are a lot of pieces to keep track of. This is when it's time to group again. I can select all the parts to this first vehicle and click Group on my Quick Access Toolbar. Now I can click and drag anywhere on that grouped set to move it around together. I can move, resize, rotate, and apply effects all at once to the entire group. Sometimes this is not what you want. One thing to note with grouped objects is that if you apply an effect like a fill color to one piece of the group, it applies to the entire group. If I decide I want to recolor just the tires, I need to ungroup and select individual pieces to recolor. Then I can group the whole thing again. Something you might encounter while working with a lot of shapes you're recoloring is that an item becomes hidden by another shape. I'm going to select the rest of these cars and fill them with color. Notice on this one tire that I've lost the inside wheel portion. You can tell it's still there because it has a selection box, but it's behind the rest of the tire. I want to select just that piece so I can either give a blank fill to those two pieces or remember that I can hold my shift key and click on the piece I want to deselect. Now that I have this single piece selected, I can bring it forward layer by layer or simply choose Bring to Front. There it is! These Bring Forward and Backward commands work for grouped objects too. If I select a set that's grouped and choose Send to Back, it will move the whole grouped set to the back. Now I can continue recoloring and grouping all these cars the way I want for my project. If you like shortcuts instead of finding the icon, note that you can right click on selected objects to access group or ungroup. Also, you can use the keyboard shortcut of Control or Command G to group and Control or Command plus Shift plus G to ungroup. Knowing how and why you group and ungroup objects is so valuable when manipulating designs in Silhouette Studio. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.